Eco-anxiety is real. So is eco-apathy. A conversation between an ill-informed psychiatrist and his well-educated patient. A Susicle by Casey Gray. Ill-informed psychiatrist. Well, actually, dear, the climate crisis is really not your fault. We've been programmed by behavioural scientists and the marketing cult. Since the late 1800s, they found we can't help being irrational. Excuse me, non-rational, not sound, for we are very suggestible creatures, capitalists and consumption-bound. Well-educated patient. So you think I should thank Walter Dill Scott for capitalising on our inclination towards manipulation? Oh, and what about that other guy? Not Adolf Hitler? Um, what's his face? Ernest Dichter, that's it. The so-called father of the consumption meter. Yeah, sure, let's get down on our knees and thank them for their permission to wipe out the bees and pillage and dump on our soon-to-be extinct way of life. Hmm, <laughs> it's so Trump, Ian. Well-educated ed patient. But you don't get it. It's like everywhere I look, I'm confronted with the reality that we've taken all we can took. We are in crisis and the people we trust to act on this must, to change the system, are not doing anything except being ignorant, showman, intent on annihilation. I mean, we haven't even have a term for this, it's so-called scomophobia. And if you haven't yet heard of it, you're likely infected with scomosymbosia a fast-growing form of a human rhizobia, a.k.a. insidious fungus. Such ignorance typical of one of the ten percenters. Jeez, just look it up. I'm tired of preaching to the cisgendered gentry who, while religiously ethical, do not rejoice in the practice of earth sin repenting. Note, around 50% of emissions are attributed to the richest 10% of people around the world. Oxfam, 2015. Well-educated patient. The more I learn, the more I realise just how screwed we all are, and people shame me as some kind of hippie wearing organic cotton tea and a bra made of hemp with an upcycled petty, but washing synthetics is way off par, putting the whole damn marine ecosystem on the brink of not-so-far mass madmen made total fucking awful destruction. Seriously, like 4,500 microplastic fibres go down the drain straight into the mouths of the thus far survivors, poor little ocean creatures finally dominated by the land-dwelling once ocean inhabitants turned evolvers. These little tykes are either anorexic or dying of starvation as the water waste blocks their digestive tract to damnation. And if the thought of sea creatures living in perpetual plastic invasion doesn't completely horrify you, then maybe you'll think differently when you realise you are consuming these toxic little tykes in this madman-made toxic cycle of life. Just a note, that was per gram, 4,500 but microfiber fi microplastic fibers per gram says Oxford in 2000 eh, Oxfam in 2015 the ill-informed psychiatrist well actually the best advice here from me onto you is to instantly stop the behaviors that are causing you distressed and elevated levels of fear of the whalers in this instance, I'm recommending that you cease looking into what you term a crisis, or more hysterically, the pending current world's ending, and simply focus on the present moment. Only there will you find a peaceful component, and incidentally, you'll remove your position as a right-wing opponent. Therefore, you and I can embrace a renewed therapeutic bestowment. Well-educated patient. Now listen carefully, my learned doctor, to I when I say that this issue is impacting all where they lie. It's not something happening to other people other where else, for our coastlines are collapsing into the ocean itself, and natural disaster after natural disaster after natural disaster is impacting everything from travel to grocery carting. So, my dear doctor, let's hope it's not toilet paper you're after the next time you're sharting. And while you're being a narcissistic twat by telling us to join the far right and ignore the science and the happenings and whatnot, I want you to know that our vineyards are producing less and less and less as the grapes shrivel into the shape of your tiny, saggy little bullsackers. 
which I will be thinking about, not hysterically, but rather com comically, while I'm waiting on a train platform for a train whose tracks are overhydrating the rain bomb turning public transport timetables into Groundhog Day on a derated, outdated environmental crisis-themed sitcom. Ill-informed psychiatrist. Well, actually, while I hear that you're passionate about this topic, I think potentially you are bordering on being a little psychotic, your attitudes commensurate with emotional immaturity because actually the only inconvenience I and my peers have experienced thus far is from people like yourself, no offence, who stop me in a traffic jam whilst I'm out enjoying my new luxury car. Truly, Dal, I don't see what all your ranting and chanting is really all about, and you achieving anything by it? I very seriously doubt. Well-educated patient. Whilst ever I sit upon the disruptive side of the metaphorical and yet not so metaphorical fence, I will yell and I will yell and I will yell and I will yell, implied of our Earth's well-being defence, because if systems remain the linear same, it will certainly plunge us all into an unbearable hell and insane plane too late for you and your buddies to find your little hidey shell bomb-proof luxury huddies. For if it's not I and if it's not you taking action, then tell me, dear doctor, exactly is it who? well-educated patient. And don't you think we have some kind of apolitical, non-demon, national, ethical responsibility to not leave behind an earth that's polluted beyond repairability for my young ones, your young ones and their products of byproduct nuclear fertility? Well-educated patient. Don't answer that. I'd rather hear from the entrepreneurial folk, those helping their peer to enrich their environment. You know the kind, those who get judged for drinking locally sourced B Corp craft beer and who on occasion get excited by the occasional perfectly circular organic free range pure sunflower yellow egg yolk and from women who still only make up 30 something percent of a white male dominated parliament who think women a joke and who are still hell bent on releasing policy statements intimating that climate change is Nothing more than a left-wing pseudoscience-informed hoax. And from First Nations peoples, who don't even get meaningful representation, though who, through connection to country, have managed the land successfully for tens of thousands of years on each of the approximate 500 nations. Ill-informed psychiatrist. Well, actually... Women don't want to work in Parliament, don't you know? They need their strength for our children, for bearing our children. It's a man's God-given right. Ain't that so? Well-educated patient. That's all you heard? I've just realised it's you. You're the reason I'm anxious, you eco-apathetic individual turd, you. Well-educated patient. I recommend to you that you consider what kind of person you are and what kind of person you want to be. The champion, leading the way, making sustainability priority. Maybe the sympathiser who cares about the issues, but only if it means never sacrificing life's luxuries like three-ply aloe vera infused tissues. Though more likely I'd have to say that you are a non-engager, like most other folks I wager, who need incentives to do better, you know, other than saving the world. Time to choose the stick or the feather. Well, actually, dear, it's all right. You're not supposed to understand it, but it's time to open your eyes, you earth-murdering bandit. Don't be a onceler. The end. On this uh, screen that I'm showing now, you can uh, find the references which I will copy and paste into the notes section so that uh, you can use them with the screen reader. I'm hoping, but please do get in touch if you need something a little more accessible. Uh, always willing to help and learn. Thanks. Bye.